lot of times when a back is known for his big play ability, it mm -hmm. comes down to there's a big hole on this play. It seems like Derek kind of creates a lot of big plays on his own. Do you agree with that? You know, that's that's kind of a – some plays, sure, he, he has. And other plays, you got to give credit that the illusion is where, when you're – Stretching the, the defense out, and it may not look there, but those those cutbacks, and you got to give a lot of credit to the offensive line and the tight ends because those lanes, they're all, you know, but it's designed. And then obviously other ones, he's made some really great plays, and we we've all witnessed that. So it goes together, but uh, not you can't take anything away from the line and the and the tight ends and the receivers blocking on the perimeter. I was with the uh, the call to Khalif last week. Yeah. Uh, Mike said it was your best play call of the year. Why, why did you choose to kind of go for it there as opposed to, you know, third down, maybe just try to get the, the first down? It just goes back to the lessons learned. I think as, as, you know, going from week to week, every game is different in the situations that come up. And it's just the same thing we ask the players. I, I, I put on myself, otherwise I'd be a hypocrite. You try to get better from week to week, you learn. And there's lessons learned. There's things that, you you know, from early in the season or something that happened years past. And, and just, as the game was going and the situation – Presented itself, it decided to go for it, and Khalif did a nice job, and Ryan made a heck of a throw, and Ferk made a good block. Do you, uh, you know, when you when you take a risk like that, are you nerves a little, a little going to into the play? Or? No, it's because I got a lot of faith in those guys out there, and that's the the risk you got to take. You don't want to live in fear and worry what if. And I'm not saying that to have bravado, but I really don't. How happy were you to see a guy? I mean, anybody would have made that play, would have been happy. But for a guy like Khalif and his journey, how happy it makes you feel to really happy. Khalif embodies our, our program. He really does. He's a guy that just kept chipping away and small school guy and you know he's been cut a couple times and he's come out here every day and I love his mindset. He's he's a, he's a little guy but he's he's one of the toughest guys out on that field and he's he keeps it even and I and I have so much respect for Khalif and I was really happy for him. And I was happy for Cody Hollister too. That's another guy that's slowly chipped away. Uh, joked with him he had one of the more efficient games I've seen. He came in there at two different positions. The ball found him both times. So I was happy for Cody as well. So you don't live in fear. Have you grown into that? Have you always been like that as a play caller? You know, this is my first year as a play caller. It just is how I felt as coach and really with this game. And that's just how I evolved in when I was playing and as I got into coaching. And uh, yeah, it's just the way I just the way I think, I guess. I know you kind of debated upstairs, downstairs, but it seems like you've enjoyed, I guess, the emotions after plays. You know, and, whether it's chest bumping a guy or kind of getting in his face. What, what, what's that like for you to be down there and to kind of well, – I know you've got a job to do, but someone's sure. celebrating too. Yeah, I try, I try not to do that. I know it's, it's like ironic because uh, I've got a huge family. So, like, of course, I, they send me – I saw that clip. I, I didn't. It's a little different hitting Derek than it was Khalif. I felt bad because I <laughs> forget how big I am and how little Khalif is. So it looked a little ridiculous. And I, and I told Khalif I wasn't trying to send him out there. But – I really try to, you know, get disciplined to keep a, a steady presence. Uh, a lot of times, it's really just happy for those guys because I know I know the what khalif has been through in his football journey and, and happy. And the same thing with Derek. You know, it kind of gets the sideline going. But the, after it's over, I, I really don't. I try not to react and showboat. It's it's unfortunate that a couple of those have come up. A couple of times you'll see a coach get knocked down by a player doing that. I mean, is that kind of a biggest fear when you approach somebody? Ah, uh, not really. I don't like the, when Derek he got pushed on the sideline. I just had to move out of the way. I've seen coaches get crushed that way, but no, not with it. Maybe I'm probably too big right now. So, uh, no. I'm In terms of this Raiders defense, I know they'll try to stack the box to try to stop Derek Henry. But what are the challenges you've seen on challenges you've seen on film for for run game and the pass game this week? Yeah, they do a really good job, and, and Paul Gunther has when he was in Cincinnati and obviously out in Oakland, and they'll give you. They'll give you different looks, and they'll have something cooked up, as most of these guys do. And we got to be—we got to be smarter. We got to be smarter with the football, and we just got to keep getting better and improve. Looks like maybe uh, some of the sack issues have been a result of, of maybe coming into that gap sort of between Ben and, and Nate. I just wonder—is there some communication issues there? Maybe especially dealing with a rookie uh, in that kind of situation. Well, you go look at them, and obviously there's there's, there's areas we've, we've always got to improve, whether we win or lose. And, and some of them are different schemes. And so to, to put it on those two is a little unfair because we've had it happen, unfortunately, in some, in some play pass, uh, screen situations as you go through the season. You know, But Nate, Nate's done a good job trying to improve week to week. And, and a lot of times I know it looks that way, but we may have been in a scheme. It could have been a, a call, a miscommunication. And, and, and as an offensive lineman, I mean, you're going to look – that is going to look like it's on you, whether it really was or not. And every one of those is a little bit different. But uh, 
we, we just got to get better overall.